Welcome back to the Gusky. I'm Gray, and today, hopefully, shit will go better than last time. In between the all of five minutes between the last match and this one, uh, I've come to realize that that was everything that I dislike about this game, all in one match. So here we are. Now, uh, Omar Rabi is suspended. Yellow card. Same thing with Owusu. Um, and Virta is injured for like four weeks or something like that. So I am going to say because I got nothing better to do. However, um, in the meantime, in between the last match and this one, I did confront the board and ask for increased uh, wage budget, which they um, granted. So now the wage budget instead of... 4.6 thousand a week which is very low mind you it is now almost doubled it is now 8,000 a week 8,000 euros a week I believe it's euros I believe that's the monetary the currency we're using but anyhow um that's that so yeah it's pretty much all I got for you um and with that having happened I did in fact place a bid for um, Philip Schoberg. Um, he is a player that I've that's been on the radar for a while. I haven't been able to sign him quite yet. Um, we do have five thousand available with uh, of um transfer budget available. He is currently injured right now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, likely he will fail his medical, but yeah, there's that. Uh, well, I'd actually, I don't know. I, I don't know how. How that goes. I have signed injured players before, surprisingly. However, um, the reason why I'm saying all this is because, um, uh, yeah, we got fucking, look at that, 5,000 remaining. Yeah, it, we weren't even at the max yet. I mean, how fucking stupid was that? But anyhow, um, I am going to take a look, though. No, no, I shouldn't this episode. I'll do it next episode. Oh, fuck. I'm already in that fucking... Right, yeah. Anyway. Um, fuck. I should go back. There we go. All right. Just to make sure everything's good and good to go. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like we're fine. Um, Ryson will get the um, the call to replace Owusu and Granholm will uh, uh, resume his duties at right back for us. And Arin's over there on the left-hand side. As Saxolo is a little a little worse for where he wasn't injured, thank God. Thank God. So anyway, um with launching a renewed uh bid for Schoblum, um or Schoberg, sorry. Um we have a better chance at signing him. Um previously we wouldn't we were unable to sign him because we didn't have the available um not really have the available. We were unable to come to an agreement on a weekly uh, wage for him. So there's that. However, with having more to play with, um, it changes our pay structure a little bit. So therefore, hopefully our director of football can kind of uh, figure that out and, um, and work on that. So, uh, fuck. Yeah, I'll just go with that. I'm going to go out there and run and waste away. Probably lose, but hey, whatever. Oh, look, another fucking yellow team. God damn. So many yellow squads in this fucking... Oh, shit. Seriously. Fucking seriously. But anyhow, um... Yeah, so, um, there's a little bit a little bit to be hopeful. Um, Schoberg is a, uh, defensive midfielder. So, if that works out, we'll have a little bit more flexibility and some room. And actually, someone on the fucking bench that we can turn to. And have some faith in. And all that good shit, so... I said, here's the hope. Oh, fucking Christ. Move the ball on. Jesus. That's one thing I don't like. I don't like the ball just staying in one spot for long. It irritates me. Quite a bit. I mean, you gotta be able to pass the ball in football. Man. That's kind of the thing. Pass and move, right? And to fucking just sit there with it and not even move yourself is not really helpful at all. But anyway, we do have a plan. Um, Hanan will most likely um, come out. Hopefully, unless there's any injuries <laughs> um, that come up, we'll, uh, we'll drop on it in for um, Ramasaho, who uh, minuses in a bit. Oh, nice. 
God damn. Where was that the last match? Shit. God damn. Just, I mean. Anyhow. I have one goal to hopefully hang on to. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck, man? Just fuck. See, those are the fouls that I don't think, in my honest opinion, have anything to do with how we close down. It's just fucking lazy defending. But anyhow, move the ball. Thank you for not turning that into something it shouldn't have been. So, anyhow, um... So hopefully, hopefully we'll have some sort of reinforcements here soon. Um, oh, Harala, please do something brilliant. That was nice. Just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Harala, again, is proving to be um, a relatively consistent goal scorer. I mean, Oyala has been clearly the primary goal scorer, but his position, the nature of his position up there at the top, Really top of the, the key, the fucking spearhead, the fucking point of attack, whatever you want to fucking call it. That position is really going to generate a lot of goals. And these two other guys that flank him will generate a good amount too. But Harala scoring from that, that whole spot is, is been pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's in that box to box midfielder right there. Really isn't really isn't designed to, to be. Um, a primary goal scorer, more so to be a an extra body, someone to create good passing angles with. Um, and then some confusion among the center backs as to who to pick up. But it is what it is, and we have two goals to the good so far. We have been unable to really hang on to these sort of goal, these sort of leads, though. It's it's kind of a it's kind of irritating, in all honesty that we haven't been able to hold on to this shit because, you know, I mean, it's just... Oh, what the fuck was that? Hagwom just kicked it, like, right back at him, just like, here, fucker. Fucking shit. I don't know where he was planning on sending that either. Like, oh, shit. But anyhow, um... We got a good 20 minutes so far. Although the foul count is irritating the fuck out of me, and I am gonna fucking try. Oh fuck that! Why am I clicking on that? That's the wrong goddamn thing. I guess we'll stop hassling people because we're not allowed to do that. Not allowed to. Not allowed to shut people down. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Holy fuck! That should have been three. Jesus. That was more fortune than design, quite honestly. With players like this, hell, I don't even see that on my Galway United squad very often. Or really ever. There's not a whole lot of shit like that. That was neat to look at, though. The way that kind of unfolded. There you go. Quite honestly, I think the strength of this formation is which is the strength of this formation lies in your your uh, your right and left back. I think your fullbacks. If you've got good fullbacks. I'm not going to fucking remember if I've said this before. I'm sure I have, but if you've got good fullbacks, this formation is going to stay pretty strong because they're the guys who have to win the one-on-one -on -one battles. And if you can't win those one-on-one -on -one battles, then you end up being exposed. And obviously, they're going to get a lot of cards, more cards than, than the other players because, you know, like I said, they're matched up with wing players, typically pacey technical wing players that are going to give them fits, but, you know, that's, and that's really, that unfortunately is one of the areas of the game that just, does, that just doesn't very, doesn't very, her doesn't generate very many players, it doesn't generate very many right and left backs and full backs really, I mean, just, it generates, as I've, as I've said before, a zillion attacking midfielders, fuck, they're everywhere. It's like every kid only wants to be an attacking midfield. It's ridiculous. Like no one ever likes defending. They come, they come at a huge premium. Like seriously, it's ridiculous. But it is what it is, and yeah. So that's something that we really, 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 really
Ross goes to second of the match. We're up 3 0 right now, 30 minutes into this match. I would say, hey, it looks like we've got this one tied up. But with our current track record and our ability to, you know, not defend very well, we could run into some issues, so. But most likely we will. See, now I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the. The, um, the tone that I used with our uh, with our opening uh, team talk. I don't remember. I want to say it's assertive. But I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, shit. Pretty sure that crossed the line there entirely. That looked, that looked like that was a goal. That's one thing that is strangely enough not um, not not something they instilled in this game. No, um, you know, not really goal line technology or any of those dubious goals that, you know, did or didn't cross the line, things like that. That's one thing, like I said, I'm surprised I didn't get that in here. And add a little spice to something. I mean, it's pretty much because the only thing they have is the only disallowed goals they have in here are offsides and, and uh, fouls, penalties, whatever you want to call them. When, uh, when the attacking player commits one, that is not the defending player. But it is interesting. So, yep, yeah, I have one. Yeah, that's fucking funny. It's the one guy who could potentially miss the next match if he gets a... Jesus. It's the one guy that can potentially miss the next match if he got a yellow card, and lo and behold, he fucking gets one, right? And that's number two, like, he's not a bad player. He's clearly better than a lot of other defending, defending players that we have, all around, that is. And yet, he seems to just fucking have a propensity for getting a shit ton of cards. All right, what are we going to do with this? Oh, fuck. Well, that wasn't it. Here's the hoping they don't come firing back, which I'm sure they will. Absolutely sure they will. As I said before, this game absolutely loves, loves the comeback. It really does. Way too much. It's just way too much in this game. It's just... And then the thing that kind of irritates me about it is it's a little... It's a bit predictable, quite honestly. I, I think that's the one thing I don't like about it, is that it is predictable. It, is, it happens so often that you're like... You know that it's coming. You know what I mean? But that's just me. I mean, that's just me being picky and often in the driver's seat and surrendering a fucking three goal lead in the second half is a bit. Oh my god. Really? Like, seriously, you're gonna fucking do that to me? It's gonna be one of those fucking matches where you're like, hey, you. See, yeah, this is all I could really do was fucking. <laughs> with our, uh. I am gonna do this, though. I am gonna take Hagwim off. Uh, Susie, so I'm sure we'll just magically create a yellow card out of nowhere here within the next 30 seconds that he's on the pitch because I mean apparently that's a fucking thing now and that's like I said that's one thing that's just it's irritating oh, fucking yellow cards so many so many on this career oh, fucking Christ come on I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to represent but Jesus and he gets off with a fucking warning of course the Referee has been relatively lenient in this match, but nice, nice little neat little header there. And then of course, so yeah, I just holds on to it too long to get a corner at least. So and that's something too. God, look at that! Look at that shot count. I mean, we've the one fucking shot they have, which is a fucking free kick, is what they scored. You know? Kind of bullshit. That's the bullshit. As I've said many times, that irritates me. It's like it's not like they actually come back and start creating a bunch of different chances and finally sink a couple in and come back on you. It's like they literally will have three chances the entire game to score and then convert on every fucking single one of them. It's like you know, realistically, that's not gonna happen. Right now, so. I mean, and like I said, that's that's something that happens once, twice a season. Not every time a team decides to come back. But hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. And tackled. And now they're going to play it out of the 
the back and probably score here shortly after we surrender another card, I'm sure. Oh my god, one of those. That's one thing, that, that's the last, like I said before, that's the thing that really pissed me off about um, FM15. I did not like their propensity for... The game, I should say this, the game was a little too quick to try and counter everything that you did. That was one thing. Like I said, ooh, beautiful stuff. Nice. Let me finish this. Wonderful. That should put the game beyond that. Should. Should. Game I prefer. But anyhow, I mean, it's... They, they countered what you were doing too much. Like I said, I mean, you don't come up with a system and have the other squad counter it before your team is even done learning it and is even efficient at using it. And it's one of those things that just doesn't... Fuck, I don't know. God damn. Just... God damn. <sighs> so much for putting it beyond that, right? It's just one of those things, like, I don't mind the closing down and, you know, them missing the ball or whatever. Whatever happened there, you know, I don't mind all that. It's just a fucking shitty goalkeeping. Just good God. That's the thing that really, like, that wasn't, that wasn't even that bad of a shot. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just spoiled by having decent goalkeepers in this game. You know? It irritates me when I have shitty ones. Especially when they're, you know, really easy goals that's one thing I don't like either like this game when it gives you when it gives the, uh, the goalkeeper a match rating they give them match rating basically essentially based on how many saves they've made so if they've made any saves which by the way our goalkeeper has not made any saves but he has a 7.0 match rating how the fuck that happens I don't know I just don't know I mean, I'm just unbeknownst to me, I'm mean, just unbelievable. I mean, I don't know. Because apparently the last one was all the mistake of suicide, but that's just, you know. If our goalkeeper was a little bit better than, you know, he was to let us soft. That wasn't even, like, wasn't even a... Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be a goal. I thought, I thought he was going to come chip that in over there. But anyhow. Like, like I said, I just... Oh my. Yeah. I don't like how they do that either. How they have the f fucking attacking player always fall down when the um, defender goes to ground like that. I don't like that. I, I don't. I don't like that at all. I mean, as if the as if the attacking player has no dexterity, no nothing to work around that at all. That's like I said. It's something that kind of bugs the hell out of me. It's just, oh, let me just fall down because you went to ground. And make things even. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. You know what I haven't done? Just realized I've been talking this whole time. Did not take Hananen off like I planned. Because he was a little, a little tired over there. But he's going to come out now. So hopefully that will help a little bit. And if we ever get it in. That is... Oh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. But anyhow. So. Not too bad. That was, man. See, like I said, I mean, I don't mind. I don't know, that... I would rather have a lot more close calls than some of the dumb, stupid mistakes. That's one thing I kind of irritate me. Like, there's a lot of dumb, stupid mistakes the lower levels of football that you play on this game. And, you know, more so, at least in my opinion, I'm going to see how fucking god damn, really. Once again, stupid mistakes. That sort of stupid shit right there. Right fucking there. Like, fucking, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Why? I mean, that's something too. That's not a young player, Ryson. Ryson is an experienced player. Shouldn't he have the wherewithal? I mean, isn't that what all those mental attributes that he's supposed to have? 
I mean, I mean, he's not fucking stupid when it comes to all that shit. It's like, goddamn, shouldn't he be the one to prevent that sort of fucking shit? But no, he's the one who's like, hey, let me just fucking hold on to this and let this fucking striker somehow tackle the ball for me. Cleanly, by the way. Cleanly, because they always tackle cleanly in that situation. And, uh, you know, score, because, hey, they can. And there's a lot more, a lot more goals. Jesus. A lot more goals are the result of stupid shit, like that stupid fucking mistakes, as opposed to players, you know, coming close to, like, heading the ball away and just not being there, like I said, I mean... The more off, the more you watch football, the more at least I see that players are just, you know, they're going to be in the right place, but they just they won't have the, you know, physical ability to get there, react quick enough, you know, or have the pace, things like that. You know, I'm not saying it's just the physical attributes that set players, you know, world-class players apart from you know, the lower league players, but more so, I mean, I don't know, like I said, just to me it feels closer, because that's something too, like how can then all these teams play quality sides, you know, how can a fucking, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, you know, like a, oh god, what is it called now, not the, uh, the championship, you know, that, you know, I'll just call it this, the fourth tier of English football, I mean, you're, you're not gonna see, you know, how can a fourth tier English football team, I don't even know, because the name of that tournament, or tournament, that thing has changed so many times, Last few years, I don't even remember what the hell they call it anymore. It used to be the Coca-Cola and then the InPower, and I don't know what it is now. But anyhow, um... Oh, fuck. I'm getting out of the Just right up right there. But, um, you know, you see, like, how can those clubs hold Premier League sides to, you know... You know, hold them close and lose one nothing, 2 nothing to one of those clubs? You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I mean, I, I would assume that a lot of those fundamental things are still going to be there. Yeah, sure, they'll make mistakes once in a while, foul someone. But, you know, like I said, most of the time, those, Jesus Christ, they're just fucking piss poor. Like, what the fuck? They were down three goals. What in their fucking mind says, hey, we can fucking win this? There should be no fucking reason. God damn, I'm fucking irritated right now. But anyhow, my, my point is just, I don't know, just there's too many stupid mistakes in this game. I mean, it just... I mean, that's something too. I mean, they're not a terrible, you know, super lower league team. I mean, pretty decent players, but it's just, no. It wants to create all these opportunities for other teams. And that's something too. Like, I don't, I don't fucking get how us being, uh, you know, or like our, our, as a manager not having a higher reputation or having a whole lot of clout with the team. You know, I don't know how that replicates into them making a bunch of stupid fucking mistakes and stupid shit like that, like passes, like those sorts of things. Those are the things that should differentiate us between the, uh, you know, the, the world-class clubs. That pass was a bit long and it put him in a position, whereas on a, on a world-class club, that pass would be on point and perfect. Those sort of things. Those are the things. Those small technical things like that are what should define you know, world-class from where we are. Whereas, no, it's more like, fuck, you got a bunch of fucking retards out there just running around fucking not doing anything. And I'm going to be a dickhead because I fucking can and I don't fucking care. Cause I'm pissed off. God damn it. Fucking three goal lead and it fucking... Nah, nah, nah. Just dumb shit. Just dumb shit. Dumb fucking shit. Anyhow, alright, so I've bitched enough. <sighs> like, and it started so well, too. It's going so good. So good. And then, no, I was like, yeah, it's just, you know, give you a shitty keeper who just makes, you know, eh, whatever. Anyhow, you made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. If you want me to rant and get all pissed off, make sure you tune in next time because I'm sure that's going to fucking happen.